everyone, it's Sarah, and welcome to my crochet channel. Now today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet our very sweet baby bib. It is adorable with these cute little bear ears and the cute little bear face. But if you're not really into teddy bears, you can leave off the ears and the bear face and you still have a sweet baby bib. It measures about eight and a half by eight and a half. And you'll notice that our ties are not very long because they're not intended to be real long. And that's because we don't want them to be a strangling hazard to your precious little baby. It's a perfect little gift to make out of any of your medium weight number four yarns. And also, if you've made a baby blanket and have some of the extra yarns, you could make the sweet little bib to go along with a baby blanket. Now this is a free crochet pattern on my blog and you can find that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. To make our very sweet baby bib, you're going to need some yarns, of course. And we used the Red Heart Bunches of Hugs yarn for this. And this was a striping yarn. That's why there's a little bit of green here and a little bit of yellow in the tie. What we're going to do today is we're just going to use some of our yarns that we have on hand that are medium weight number four acrylic yarns. And these are Red Heart Super Saver colors. We've got a mint, an orchid, and a light pink. We're going to be starting with two rows of pink, then we're gonna to go to two rows of the mint, then we'll do two rows of the pink. We'll do the bare ears in the pink. I said that backwards, purple. Well, you'll see as we go along. Basically, I'm going to be using these three colors and striping the yarn on my own and not using a striping yarn. The bottom line is this. You can use any medium weight number four yarns to make this bib, whether you want it variegated, whether you want it with a striping yarn, or just whatever medium weight number four yarns that you have on hand. You're also gonna need a little bit of brown just to embroidery on those eyes and that face. We're gonna be stitching today with our H hook, which is a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. You need a needle for weaving in ends, sewing on your ears, and of course, embroidering on your little face. And then, don't forget, you need a pair of scissors. So I'm going to begin with my light pink yarn. We're going to make a slip knot. We're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to join that into a circle. So we'll put the tail of yarn over our hook and snug that down. And then we'll tie our little stay knot. We'll put our hook through, pull up a loop, and chain three. Our chain three will count as our first double crochet. We're going to stitch nine double crochets in this chain five loop. Our chain three will count as one, and we need nine more for a total of 10. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, and go through the second two loops. So there's two. There's five. There's seven, and also you'll notice I am stitching over my tail of yarn, and that's so I can close this hole shut when we're done. All right, so we had seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're going to join to our chain three with a slip stitch, and chain three. We're going to turn this over and because I stitched over that tail of yarn, I can just gently pull on that and I can go ahead and weave it in. 
It has to be weaved in anyway, so I might as well get it over with. All righty. So for row one, we have 10 double crochets joined with the slip stitch and chained three. For row two, our chain three counts is our first double crochet, and we're going to double crochet in that same stitch. And now we're going to stitch two double crochets and each of those beginning 10. So we're going to have 20 double crochets for row two. Two double crochets in each of the double crochets around. Two double crochets in each of the double crochets around, then we'll join back to our chain three. I completed row two. I have two double crochets in each of those double crochets around, so I have 20 double crochets. I'm going to join to the top of my chain three. And if you're not changing colors, go ahead and chain three. But I'm going to be changing colors, so I'm going to cut my pink. I'm going to bring in my second color. And now I'm going to chain three. It's real important that when you change colors, you do that chain three after the color change, or you'll have one stitch that's the wrong color. All right, so what we're going to do now is stitch another double crochet in that same stitch as our chain three. And again, for row three, we're going to stitch two double crochets in each of those double crochets around. Two double crochets in each of the double crochets around, working all the way around and join back to our chain three. I completed row three. You should have 40 double crochets. Join to the top of my chain three and chained three. Now for row four, we're going to stitch one double crochet in the next stitch and then two double crochets in the next. one double crochet in the next two stitches. And two double crochets in the next. So we're going to be doing two and two. One double crochet in the next two stitches. And two double crochets in the next one and two. Now we're going to be repeating this around the two and two all the way around, but we're not going to join back to our chain three. We're going to leave the last eight stitches unworked. Okay, so we'll continue to repeat around and leave the last eight double crochets unworked. And that's going to be the opening for the baby's neck. So we'll repeat around one double crochet in the next two and two double crochets in the next all the way around, leaving the last eight stitches unworked. So I've stitched my two and two all the way around. Here's my last eight stitches. I'm not going to work in those. 
If you're not changing colors, you can go ahead and chain three, but I'm going to change colors here. So I'm clipping my yarn and bringing in my third color, which is this Orchid Lavender. And now I'm going to chain three. And we're going to turn our work. We're going to stitch one double crochet in the next two, one and two. Make sure that's snug down good there. We'll stitch two double crochets in the next. And we'll repeat this around. One double crochet in the next three. One, two, three. And then two double crochets in the next. One and two one double crochet, one, two, three, one double crochet in the next three, and two double crochets in the next, one and two. And we'll continue to repeat this around till we get to this other side where this chain three is. one double crochet in the next three and two double crochets in the next. Repeat all the way around till you reach that chain three. So I've stitched row five, stitching one double crochet in the next three and then two together all the way around to our chain three and I'm going to chain three and we're going to turn and now for row six we're going our chain three counts as our first double crochet so we're going to stitch three more and then two double crochets in the next. And for row six, our repeat is one double crochet in the next four. So there's one, two, three, and four, and then two double crochets in the next, one and two one double crochet in the next four, one, two, three, and four, and then two double crochets in the next, one and two. And again, we'll repeat this all the way around till we get back to this chain three one double crochet in the next four and then two in the next and repeat. I have completed row six and you can clearly see this neck opening now. All right, so we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and turn. We're going to skip the next double crochet and single crochet in the next. Chain three, Skip the next double crochet and single crochet in the next. Chain three. Skip the next and single crochet in the next. One, two, three. Skip the next and single crochet in the next. So this is our repeat for row seven at this point. We're going to make these little loops all the way around to our chain three over here. Chain three, skip one, single crochet in the next. And we'll do that all the way around to that chain three. So I've completed row seven, stitching all those loops all the way around the edge of our bib. We're going to chain one and turn. 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to be stitching in these loops. So we're going to go in this first loop. We're going to single crochet. Then we're going to chain three. That's a picot stitch or pico and single crochet. All right. And that's what we're going to do in each one of these loops. We're going to single crochet, chain three, slip stitch in the top of that single crochet. There we go. And then single crochet. And that's what forms all those cute little bumps that are around the edge of our bib. All right, so next chain three space, single crochet. Bring this down a little bit. Chain three, slip stitch in the top of our single crochet, and then single crochet in that same chain one space. Single crochet, chain three, slip stitch in the top of that single crochet, and then single crochet. And we'll do that in each one of those chain three loops around. Single crochet, pico or picot, whatever you want to call it, and then single crochet. And repeat all the way around our bib. I've completed row eight, stitching, single crochet, pico, single crochet in each of my chain three spaces. And we're going to be stitching down across and back up on the bib. I'm going to be changing colors, so I'm going to cut my yarn and bring back in my color two. We're not going to turn here. Let's make a chain one, make sure I'm up where I need to be. And what we're going to do here is we're going to evenly single crochet down. We'll single crochet in those eight stitches and then evenly single crochet to this corner. So we're going to work down this first side. And the way to get a nice even edge is to try to go in the stitches and not the holes. And we're going to be stitching single crochets. And there is not a set amount of stitches that you need to do here. You just want it to look nice, even, and full. And again, try to go in those sides of the stitches and not the holes. When you stitch in those holes, you end up with too big of a hole. And we don't want that, so we're just going to Go in the sides of these stitches, and it sometimes is a little tight and a little hard, but it's very much worth it for a nice, neat appearance. All right, so I've stitched down the side, and now I'm going to stitch in those eight single or those eight double crochets a single crochet. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stitch in that corner. And then I'm going to work back up the side like we did on the other side. Just stitching, trying to go in the stitches and not the holes 
so it looks nice and neat. All right, and so that's the way that it should look. We stitched down, we stitched across, and then we stitched up. So now we're going to form the first tie. We're going to chain 32 chains. I've chained those 32 chains. I'm going to turn, I'm going to slip stitch in the second chain, and then I'm just going to slip stitch in each chain, working back to the bib. One slip stitch in each chain. I've slip stitched back up my chain. I'm going to turn and I'm going to go in that first single crochet and single crochet back over to the other side there we go so I'm just going to single crochet one single crochet in each of the single crochets working back over to this other side and then we'll add the second tie. So I single crocheted back across and now I'm going to repeat on this side what I did here. I'm going to chain 32 and then slip stitch back to the bib. I've completed the second tie and now I'm just going to join to that first single crochet with a slip stitch and cut my yarn. And then we'll just tie off. And of course, we'll have to weave in, whoops, that's the wrong tail. <laughs> we'll have to weave in all these ends. <laughs> Don't make the mistake I didn't grab the wrong tail. <laughs> so here is the completed bib without the bare face or bare ears. And it's super cute, just like this, it's adorable. And I love it this way as well. But we're gonna add those little bare ears and a little bare face and then a little bow tie. To make the bare ear, we're going to begin with a chain four. And we're going to stitch nine double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. That chain three will count as our first, and we're going to stitch nine in that chain four, so we have a total of ten double crochets. So there's four, five, tail out of the way. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I need one more because we needed a total of ten. We're going to join to that first chain three and tie off. Now you need to cut yourself a little bit of yarn because we're going to use this yarn to sew it on to the bear or to the, the bear ear to the bib. Now you might have a little bit of a hole there and we have to weave this in anyway so we'll go ahead and fix that hole while we're weaving this in. <clears throat> so we'll just go around those stitches on the back side of our bear ear Gather that in nice and snug, and then go ahead and just weave it in. Going one way, then the other, and back and forth, trying to go through fibers and stitches. All right. So here is one bare ear. Make sure that you make two. 
I've already made one and sewn it in place. All right, so I'll show you how to stitch that on. Now this is the front of your bare ear where those little stitches are to the front. Okay, now we lined it up near the top on this fourth row. We want to do the same over here so the ears are the same. So we'll lay it forward. And we want to make sure that we go in stitches. If you just go through holes, it's not going to stay put. And this little ear might get pulled on. You know, babies like to grab things, so. All right, so I made some stitches. I'm going to look to see if I like where it's at, and I do. So I'll just go right back and make a few more stitches. And then I'll just go right in to the back. And we'll weave that in, trying to stay right behind that ear because we don't want any extra pink stitches showing through. All right, so now our very sweet bib has its bare ears. All right, let's make the bare face. We're going to do that with this brown. Got myself off about 14, 16 inches. We'll thread that on. We're going to begin by stitching the nose on and we're going to start with the triangle. We're going to kind of come up on one side I'm going to make sure we leave some for weaving in back here. And again, when you're stitching on the face, make sure you go through some of the stitches and not just the holes. All right, so we're going to come up under here and sort of fill that nose in a little bit. And it's kind of up to you how many stitches that you want to put in here, how thick you want your nose. One more on this side. There we go. It gets a little thick in there if you add too many. All right, so there's my nose. Now we're going to make the mouth. We're going to come down here into a stitch. Making sure I go through a stitch, not a hole. Whoops, don't want that. <laughs> well, that one ended up just a little bit crooked, so I think it has a little bit of a smirk, and I like it. <laughs> All right, now what I do is I come back up through here on the back <clears throat> and then I don't make French knots for this one I make side stitches like this because I wanted to have kind of a silly look to the face so we just make two stitches So there's my bear with its smirky little face. <laughs> and we'll just weave this in to the back. Looks like I caught my stitch. So we'll just weave it all in. And I try to do that right behind that nose so it's not seen. I like to make the bow tie with two strands of yarn. And I like to have it right down here at the base of the neck. And so I'm going to go through a couple of loops of the stitch down below. I want to line it up with the nose, not the smirky smile. <laughs> All right, so we'll just bring those through there. There we go. We'll 
grab both loops and tie that on. And it's kind of up to you how big you want that little bow to be. And once I like it, I just give it another little tie because I want that to stay put. There we go. And then we can just clip those. So here is the very sweet bib I made previously for our test. And then here is the one we did together. I did straighten up or smirk a little bit. <laughs> So they're super easy to make, and again, if you don't want to make it into a little bear, you can leave off the face, the ears, and the little bow. So that's our very sweet baby bear.